So we are finally getting our little upgrade for um, Indiana. It's going to be a scan strap pod on the binnacle with a chart plotter, a little autopilot control head and um, a little mobile phone charging device from Scanstrat. So yeah, just getting it all fitted up now. So that uh, is going to be going on here. Yeah, following that we'll have um, our autopilot installed. Um, oh, that's Paul <laughs> doing all the work on the deck. But yeah, we'll have our autopilot set up as well then, so the control head will be um, active there. But we'll have chart plotter up at the helm, and um, yeah, decent little uh, decent little bit of kit. So yeah, looking forward to it. Moment of truth. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> Look at that. pod is in place and we're just <laughs> hanging around outside and just testing it out so we've got um yeah so scan strut have given us this awesome pod we've got a mobile phone charging point so that's on charge now which is awesome um we've got raymarine um axiom 7 so that's now in the position which means we've got um yeah we've got chart plotter down at the um, nav desk and now we've got yeah uh, the same chart plotter effectively repeated up at um, yeah up at the helm so which is awesome and then also we've got um, our autopilot control head so that's going to be ready to go when we get the autopilot set up um, which will be next week
the uh, racing boy back again. That's what most people do, don't they? <laughs> well, they stop right there, right at the entrance. <laughs> Waypoint onto the chart plotter here, so you just hold down, go to, and that'll just set us off there. What you can then do on your autopilot control head is go to track, and it says turn to waypoint, you agree to it, and then it starts trying to turn the boat. Obviously, it won't because we're not moving, but it's now trying to adjust it to get us turning to face the waypoint so yeah that's um one pretty awesome part of it a cool little feature if you press menu you can go to mode and actually you can go down and select wind vane so track will follow what's on the chart plotter so it will track to your waypoints but wind vane you select that oh it's moving it will just keep you on this wind angle so wind 99 south, and then you can set your sail trim, set to that wind angle, and obviously then travel off to wherever you need to go without having to change sail trim, but only obviously depending on which way the wind travels. Obviously chart plotter up here is just, um, yeah, awesome. Dishes. Little washer woman. <laughs> Little washer woman. I've done the laundry. You did do the laundry today too. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm doing the dishes. Oh, we're great on these gender roles. Yeah, we are fantastic on these gender roles. So sorry about that. Yeah, no, it's okay. Um, and I'm gonna make dinner. And you are gonna make dinner I'm because make dinner. I need to do some editing. So. Yeah, that's okay. That's. So we share the jobs, but just today it seems they are unfortunately stereotypically pink and blue. Pink and blue. Yeah. Sorry, people. Yeah, so sorry about that. Anyway, what I was going to tell you about while Lauren does the washing up 
Um, oh, why is it so loud out here? Oh, there's like a boat doing things. I don't know what it's doing, but it's trying to find a little space. The water's super low, so he's not gonna. No, he's not, not gonna find anywhere to go, I don't think. Ooh, and I don't know what there's another. Oh, it's like a paraglider or something, or a. Where's it gone? It's up there. But, um, yeah, unfortunately, these guys are stuck in the mud. Um, because it's only like an hour after low tide, um, which is something that's unfortunately part of living in the marina here. It's two hours at least after low tide, otherwise you're not going anywhere. So, but I think they're trying to get out, but it's not gonna work for at least half an hour, I think. If we had a tender, we might try and go to their aid. I'm just gonna face this way and pretend that. I don't know, I'm not filming them, I suppose, because it's not the best situation for them to be in. We know, we've done it before. Now there's a dog fight over here. It's all going on tonight in the marina. Oh, these guys are. So they peaked too early, which yeah, we we know the feeling. But actually, you can see the um, <laughs> this is what they've been kicking up um, in their attempts to free themselves. <laughs> it's all the mud from the bottom, all the silt from the bottom. So yeah, just realised who it is as well. I think it's a guy who um, is just lives on just on the pontoon down the down the ways. I think his name's Dougal. If I get it right, I think he watches the channel. So. Apologise for filming you secretly. Stop! Stop! Anyway. See, here we go. I li I just said um, I was filming you secretly, but now I know who it is. So I'm just filming you, obviously, now instead. <laughs> okay, that's enough fun for one evening. Um, dog fights and boats getting stuck and all sorts of things. But what I wanted to talk to you about was, as you've seen, we have had a few upgrades we have now had our sea trial as you've seen and i wanted just to show you um the setup that the linear drive that we've done for the linear drive because um i don't think it's sort of well yeah i don't i don't think it's common um maybe i'm i'm wrong but i always thought that you needed to fiberglass um you know linear drive in to its um into its housing but um but yeah apparently not you can also use a or create a um kind of yeah stainless plate with four screws wel welded into it because the the angles on the linear driver sh sort of shear um you shouldn't be putting too much pressure on well yeah on the surrounding kind of fiberglass and things yeah it should just be case of sort of forward and back motion we'll, we'll go down in the hatch now and have a look it's just a different way that i didn't know you could do it but fingers crossed it's all right we went out we went out and did the sea trial and it was all working fine so only time will tell but yeah see what you think let us know in the comments if you um think it's a really bad idea and that you should always fiberglass these things in but if not and you think it's a great idea then maybe this is a way that you can do it without having to get your hands dirty doing a bit of fiberglassing so yeah wait and see so no sooner had we put the nice Indiana stickers on the boat, now I had to uh, put a nice <laughs> big stainless plate next to the eye, but I think it's, yeah, it's, um takes away a little bit from the impact of the name, but not something we're going to lose a little bit of sleep over. Um, but yeah, as you can see, you might just be able to see the indentations on the top there, where each of the bolts have been sort of welded onto this stainless plate so there's four bolts attached to that plate drilled the hole straight through and then the uh, linear drive has been attached to that all right in the hole we have a little linear drive set up see ya 
ya. See ya. Oh, what was that? <laughs> Noises. Yeah, that's too big. Yeah, probably. <laughs> All right, so yeah, this will show you the plate on the outside, or have shown you, is um, yeah, where the linear drive has been mounted. Yeah, as I said, the forces are kind of um, effectively that way, um, which shouldn't create too much of an issue. There's um, the corner here is kind of obviously a bit more built up because it's. Um, it's a corner, <laughs> I suppose, so you've got a bit more strength to it anyway on the fiberglass. Yeah, instead of, I suppose, building out a bit of a shelf here um, that we thought about, or, um, you know, I don't know, or even glassing in a block here, potentially, we sort of made the um, decision just to, you know, I guess just to put four holes in the back of the boat instead, which seems to have done the job. So, um, yeah, and what we've got here, so got the quadrant there for um for the rudder, and there's just a um additional bit of steel now coming out. Um that the end of the linear drive attaches to. And so that's obviously bolted pretty securely into that with uh yeah, a nice chunky bracket around the rudder stock. You also need a rudder reference and this will talk to the ACU um, box and it will yeah effectively tell you where where the rudder is. <laughs> yeah that's our autopilot setup. This is the up opposite cockpit locker and you'll see few Raymarine sort of backbone connecting cables. Um, one coming to this, which is, um, I don't know the exact name for it, but it's the effectively like a GPS um, positioning sensor that will let the autopilot know um, which way we're facing. And then at the back here, this is the ACU control box so this is a uh, cu 200 as you can see there but that is effectively the computer that's talking to everything and um, connects it up to the chart plotter a whole bunch of cables and and bits and pieces there that i don't really know much about which is why we paid someone to come and do it for us because it's a pretty important bit of kit and um yeah not something i was confident with doing myself so yeah that's ugh, the tour of the um yeah the tour of the autopilot setup complete and um yeah obviously that's then all works in conjunction with well not in conjunction with that <laughs> but in conjunction with the chart plotter here and then with the um yeah with the control head there so then yeah, you just set positions that you want, or you can follow a track, or you can follow the wind direction, wind angle, and then, all in all, we can then just go and make a cup of tea and let the boat sail itself. So, yeah, perfect. And just like that, Lauren has prepared the dinner. <laughs> well, I've been crouching in cockpit lockers. What have we got? We have got stir fry. Yeah, what Mocked sort of stuff, right? Um, saute, soy, mm. and then, yeah, those are veggies. Perfect. Yes. And then we got a little saute sauce. Yeah, dum, 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 sauce dum. to go with it. That's what we like to see. This is actually the perfect amount as well, so. Perfect amount, I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> All right. Ta-da. Oh, a bit of lime. A bit of lime on there. Oh, yeah. perfect. Perfect. This is what we need in our bellies. Mm. A bit more, is that okay for you? It's got the chicken soup cup. That was a chicken soup recipe, there it is. <laughs>